I'm here at Lenaro Connect in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with Deepak Saxenal. You're the Lenaro Kernel Working Group Tech Lead. Can you tell viewers a little bit about what that is? Mm -hmm. So um, I lead the kernel team at Lenaro, and we're composed of about 15 people uh, working across a whole variety of areas in the Linux kernel. Um, one of the main areas we're focused on is kernel consolidation and cleanup. So there's this whole issue with uh, the ARM kernel where there's, there are all these different SOCs that have been added over the last few years. Um, and there's been a lot of copy and paste of code because the way the ARM kernel was developed was sort of very evolutionary. It wasn't really planned, which is the case a lot of open source software. It's not like we have a roadmap and we stick to this roadmap and we design something first. We sort of throw things together, make it work, and then we sometimes have to revisit them and fix them. Um, so we're at this point with the ARM kernel where there's just a lot of cruft, and a lot of it doesn't play together nicely. You know, one of the things we want to be able to do is build a single kernel that will boot across any ARM platform out there. Um, and to fix that, we have to basically go through the code and clean up a lot of the copy-pasted code and find commonalities. So that's a really big area of focus for the team. Um, another area of focus is uh, working on Android. So there's all these features in Android that are not currently upstream. Um, and we're wanting to look at those and sort of figure out how can we work with the community to find sort of a, a middle ground and get those features upstream. It's an exciting time to be doing that because last week at um, the Linux Kernel Summit and at ELC, you know, Linus basically said that is open to having some of these features go into the kernel. So I think we've got a, a possibly right now of actually finding some common ground between you know the Android community and the Linux kernel community to get those things upstream. Uh, we're also working on some flash storage performance um, to improve uh, both both the performance of, of like writing data and reading data off of flash devices, but also increasing the lifetime of flash devices because a lot of flash devices are developed um, to be working with Windows-based file systems. And so for running a Linux-based file system, a lot of the assumptions that the devices make in their firmware get thrown away. So we're trying to figure out how can we work around that or how do we work with the hardware vendors to make it so we can have better performance and lifetime on those flash devices. Um, we're also working on quality of the kernel. And one of the things that I'm really excited about is uh, Linaro has something called Lava, which is a validation infrastructure. And we're trying to figure out how do we make sure that as the kernel community moves their kernels forward, you know, from 2.6.31, or it's not 2.6.31, from 3.1 to 3.2, 3.3, we don't break things. We've seen this case where uh, a kernel will move forward and something that was working before, like USB, <coughs> suddenly stops working. Um, so how do we make sure we catch those things ahead of time so that when a new kernel is released, we can just point to that kernel in the community and say, you know what, we trust this kernel to be solid on these platforms. It's not only an exciting time for you and your team and, and Lenaro as a whole, it's an exciting time for developers mm -hmm. um, to get on board and, mm -hmm. and get this stuff pushed upstream and then for it to flow back across mm -hmm. all platforms. How can developers get involved with your team to help make that a reality? Mm -hmm. um, the best thing to do is to get involved, uh, there's a couple of ways. Um, we have a mailing list, a Lenaro kernel mailing list and a Lenaro dev mailing list. They should, both, they should subscribe, subscribe to both of those. If they go to uh, the wiki, wikilenar.org, you can go to the kernel team page and there's information about those mailing lists and how to subscribe to them. Um, and uh, just really get involved in discussions and ask questions. You know, Lenar is a very transparent organization where whatever we're doing, we're open about with the public. And so we really, we're open to people asking questions about what we're working on and how to solve technical issues. Um, and they can, they can also help with some of the testing we're doing. You know, we do these kernel releases every month, and if they grab those kernel releases and test them on their platforms, you know, th run them through whatever use cases they're using um, and report back anything they find, that helps us sort of do our job. So even if they're not you know, a low-level kernel developer who can go write a driver, it, we, they can still help us by just using our software. So if people want to find out more, maybe they're not familiar with Lenaro specifically, they can go to Lenaro org and still get to the wiki as mm -hmm, well mm -hmm, um, yeah. and it's my understanding that you all also use launchpad to file those bugs so yes. if people want to yeah. file bugs against a specific kernel that you're te they're testing yeah. for you all they can just do that in launchpad they can do that in launchpad and if they're interested in <laughs> following the work for doing there's some specific work area you know, for example let's say um, device resupport for a specific platform they want to follow they can go into launchpad and then they can uh, show their interest at in that in that specific uh, blueprint and they'll get email updates as we update that blueprint and show that we've made progress. You mentioned the transparency, so what about the collaboration in the kernel space between Lenaro and your partners? 
It's it's going really well. You know, it's really exciting to be working with a team of people who are um, involved with who work for different partners, but are completely willing to work with each other and share information openly and cleanly with each other. You know, so we're the the reason we're making this progress is because of that transparency that exists and the, the collaboration that exists between between partners, and you know, and allowing their engineers to work with each other. Because I think the traditional software world is like, well, I'm going to do my thing over here, and I'll do my thing over here. And we'll only kind of share bits and pieces, you know. And there's, there's, there's still, of course, NDAs and things that they're not willing to share. But, you know, it's great to see these engineers from different members work together to find uh, common infrastructure solutions to our problems. And I think you mentioned that um, when you were talking about what you all did to, to standardize that kernel across ARM mm. platforms. And I think um, that's a good example of engineers not working together. And now you all are mm -hmm. moving to change that. Yeah. So that's, a, that's exciting on that front as well. Is there anything else you want to tell viewers that I haven't asked you about, but you'd like them to know about what you do at Lenara and what your team does? Mm -hmm. Well, let me think about it. Um, I think, uh, I already talked about this a little bit, but I think that the testing we're doing is really something that I really want to read. I'm really excited about it. And we're just sort of getting started on that, but I think that's one of the places we're going to add a lot of value to both our member companies and also to the general open source community because it's, a, it's infrastructure and it's testing that we're going to provide to help our partners have their hardware up and running on the latest kernel or kernel and also help the community f um, ensure that they're not breaking things that are important to our partners and to the general community. Thank you so much for taking time to sit down here in Orlando at Lenaro Connect and talk to me about all the exciting kernel space stuff that Lenaro is doing. Look forward to seeing what you're going to do in the next cycle and beyond, and uh, look forward to maybe sitting down and talking to you in six months to see where you're at. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Thank you very much.